director. CEO Lang has been satisfied with everything up to now, especially your tea snacks. Really? You certainly put in a lot of effort this time around. It's what I'm supposed to do. I just did my homework and taste tested at a few bakers. There's a type of cake that is extremely famous in this one shop. It has to be pre-ordered especially a few days because of the unique peanut butter inside. Peanut butter? What's wrong? CEO Lang is allergic to peanuts. He might go into anaphylactic shock from eating it. Director Chi Manager Du. Everything's already been eaten? Xiao Did CEO Lang have any reaction after eating the snacks? Not at all. CEO Lang said they were delicious and he ate quite I'm a few. Doomed. CEO Lang definitely ate the peanut butter. What should we do? CEO Zhan immediately. There were no Where peanuts CEO in them. Sis Wan instructed the chef to replace the snacks that had peanut butter inside them with something else. Wan, that's great. Thank you, very Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you for your warm reception. I feel that I have a deeper understanding of you and your company now. I hope that this will be a good start. Then I'll be looking forward to our next meeting. See you, Lang. I'll walk you out. He's really charismatic. What did he say to you? <laughs> Manager Du, how did you make such a serious error? If Wen Wan hadn't discovered the peanut snacks and gotten them replaced, didn't you know that CEO Lang was allergic to peanuts? Didn't you take note of the client's information? CEO Zhan asked us to be totally prepared for CEO Lang's arrival. How could you make such a low-class mistake? If anything had actually happened, there would have been serious consequences. Director, do you understand? Please don't be angry. I only followed Assistant Wen's instructions. She didn't tell me about CEO Lang's allergies. Sis Wen Wan had printed it all out beforehand, including a list of all of CEO Lang's preferences what print and the things I never received any she such gave information. It to I saw it with my own eyes. Sis Wen Wan handed the document CEO to Zhang. Manager Du. What rubbish are you spouting again? CEO Zhang. Assistant Wen, do you have anything to say? I was the one in charge this time. I should be responsible for everything that's happened. Director Chi, the reception was outstanding. I suggest taking this month's director bonus and sharing it with each person from the administration department who was involved with this event. Our style is to reward those who perform well. But those who underperform must bear the appropriate consequences. I hope you can investigate this matter completely and provide me with a clear outcome. Yes, CEO Zhang. Research and Development Center. CEO Lang, our sales department is further along back there. This way, please. Please. I already told you that CEO Lang was coming. Where did Ling Hong go? Where is he? How can you just casually let anyone in? I don't think it's suitable. Mm. 
The alpha bidding session is tomorrow. Wen Wan, explain the schedule and the details to everyone. Yes. Langshire has initiated a new procedure for the bidding Every company has 10 minutes to do a briefing on their proposal. If we are unable to answer the questions within 10 seconds, we'll be considered eliminated. Edward Smith, the following is information on the senior consultants in Langshire. Based on past experience, Lang Ruffing will seek their opinions, and they will then focus on what each company specializes in. Boss, she's awesome. It's like knowing what's on the exam before taking it. It's not easy to think at this level. I'll bet that you didn't know. You are still working overtime during the weekend. So hard working. The bidding for Alpha is next week. There are still many things that are not completed yet. These are the five senior consultants of Langshire. I'll have to trouble you to research and organize all pertinent data on them. I need it done by the end of the day. Consultant list. This. You don't understand? Didn't you tell me that you're an industrial spy for Daijong? What you are holding now is highly confidential information obtained by our company. I was only kidding when I said that I was an industrial spy. But I'm not. Wen Wan, CEO's executive assistant. Langshire subsidiary company auction meeting, alpha sale meeting, and if the golden sun should cease. So many people. There are more people here than I thought there would be. Hello, CEO Lang. CEO Lang. Hey. <laughs> Mr. Lee. Mr. Wan, both of them have already prepared for two months. Ah, they both are determined to win. CEO Lang, our company is also very prepared. Looks like CEO Lang has a better impression of you compared to the other companies. That includes Daizhong's Zhu Lingli. Yesterday, Lang Ruffing went to Daizhong. I heard that it was an unhappy event. Didn't he tell you about this? I was working overtime last night. See, how would I know? Let's go. On behalf of Langshire Corporation, welcome to the bidding session for Alpha. The first company bidding is Jingxing Technologies.
Can you briefly explain your proposal? I didn't expect Dai Zhong's Linglu to be so optimistic while his company is having such a serious like has a good mentality. Conflict. I am impressed. Maintaining is the industry leader. But you better be careful in this case. Give me a background check on the man sitting to the left of Lang Ruffin. Just a moment. After returning from the United States, he went to work for a technological research institution. I remember that he wrote a thesis paper that discussed the brain's memory. Does CEO Jean still require further information? Help me get in-depth details of that information. Understood. The next company bidding is Dai Zhong. All right, thank you, everyone, for participating in the bidding today. The results will be out by this afternoon. Not bad, Wen Wang. Getting an understanding of the consultant sitting beside Lang Ruffing is like getting a preview of the question Our round. CEO was the one who discovered that. CEO Lang was more inclined to heed the advice of the consultant to his Otherwise, I wouldn't have had enough time to do a detailed search. Actually, I'm not sure why, but I feel really reassured seeing the both of you together today. Hey, boss, could it be that I'll fall out of favor now? <laughs> Director Guan, stop joking. Both you and Vice CEO Gao are the left and compete? right arms of the CEO. I don't mind getting another arm. I like having three heads and six arms. T slash N, idiom meaning a person has extraordinary abilities. Hey, what? Let's go eat lunch. I have to work. No matter how busy you are, you still have to eat It's lunch, all set, right? I'll pick you up later. Zhu Linlu. Let's go. Let's have lunch. Organize all the documents used for the bidding and bring them back to the company. Don't miss a single one. Remember your identity. CEO Zhang. CEO Lang has invited you for tea. Let's go. CEO Jean performed greatly today. Your proposal was straight to the point. I'm really impressed. I can only say that we have the same value. It would be an honor if Chi and you could officially work with Langshire. I would like to invite CEO Jean to London. All right. Hello, CEO Lang. Oh, hello on time. Sit down, please. <laughs> this is the red tea that my wife concocted in London. Thank you. CEO Zhang, General Manager Zhu, both of your proposals today have put me in a difficult spot. I really can't make a decision. Let's do it this way. After serious consideration, I would like to invite both of you to London as my guests. Take a tour of Alpha, get a feel for the operations there. At the same time, we can proceed on to the final bidding. All of our core personnel will be present there, too. 
We can then provide you with the most unbiased judgment and arrangements. What do the both of you think? Being able to go on a business trip and getting to tour London. I can't think of anything better than that. <laughs> Didn't I just agree to that, CEO Lang? Good, that's settled then. <laughs> Excuse me. <sighs> Little manager Lu, you sure have impressed me. It's not easy to hear that from you. Then please, continue to be impressed. I look forward to it. Zero dash nine dash zero dash nine. Oh, right. In regards to Alpha, what is your opinion? To be honest, I have no opinion. No opinion at all? That's right. Regardless of looks, money, and a status that matches yours, your boyfriend also has a pretty decent job. You have everything. Is there still anything capable of moving this iron and stone heart of yours? There's still something. What's that? Sleep. Ever since I was promoted to the 66th floor, I haven't woken up naturally. I have been working. Are you playing with me? I'm not. Xiaon Wan. I went to Qian Yu to pick you up and left empty handed. I thought about you all the way here. Have you not thought of me? You did that on purpose today, didn't you? You sure are smart. No wonder Jean Nancyan assigns you to important tasks, huh? Haven't you heard of getting punished by the gods if you destroy a person's rice bowl? I already have a golden rice bowl, rice bowl prepared bowl for refers you. To someone's Thank you. Livelihood. Even though my current rice bowl cannot be compared to the golden rice bowl, I'm comfortable with you. I won't trouble you then, General Manager Lu. Xiaon Wan, open the gate. Open the gate. Xiaon Wan. Xiaon Wan. Open the gate. Open the gate. Xiaon Wan. Xiaon Wan. Xiaon Wan. Open the gate. going to be the of are all asleep. Tone it down. Thank you. Lock the gate. Uh, 
I already have so many things to worry about. Zhu Linlu, please give me a break. This is no good. You're too biased. You're only concerned about John Nancy and winning or losing. Aren't you going to congratulate me, too? You. Aren't you curious about what method I used to get back to the same starting point as John Nancyan? I really want to ask you this. I thought that your company's research and development department refused to visit What exactly did you do to turn that around? Three days earlier, we neglected our honored guest today, so I'm personally a way of trying to make it up to you. Looks like General Manager Zhu has something to say to me. CEO Lang, you found me out. What happened today at Daizhong, I'm sure you've already evaluated us based on that. As I said before, every company has their own corporate culture and their own unique way of doing things. I understand and respect that. Indeed, but you don't agree. Speaking of this, even as the general manager of Daizhong, I don't agree with it either. Daizhong needs to be restructured and it also if needs to be further developed, redeveloped, then it's doomed. The crucial part of this redevelopment is the Alpha project. Is Alpha really that important? Alpha might not be that important to other companies. They wait a couple of years and find better projects. But for Daizhong, time is both critical and important. That's why I am willing to sacrifice more compared to other companies. In order to get Alpha, to be able to collaborate with you, CEO I am Lang, talking about a long-term strategic partnership to create an international technological park. I hope that you will agree to it. It's an ambitious plan. So, look at how hard it was for me to persuade Lang Ruffing. I've used up all my reserve energy to make my girlfriend so happy. So the things that you are doing on the surface cover your real intentions? On one hand, you're trying to get in the good graces and on the of other, Lang Ruffing during the bidding. You watched your competitors submit their proposals out in the end while treating Didn't it you like forget a joke. your old rival, Qian Yu? You've done well. Your chess match sure is good. You can't say that yet. How can I persuade Lang Ruffing with just a few words? I did so much, just to be on the same playing field as John Nancyan. Am I right? In order to begin at same starting line, I used my abilities to win an opportunity to challenge him to another round. It's just that simple. To sum it up, it's a wrestling match between you two bosses. Why did you drag me into it? I am still not finished with you regarding this. Let me analyze it for you. Think of it this way. First of all, John Nancyan is no longer the John Nancyan you knew. He's an expert in mind games. You entered Qian Yu as his assistant. How can this have nothing to do with you then? That's to say, look back and the shore is at hand, i.e. repent and be saved. It's Come the back into choice my under the circumstances. I'm not. Zhu Ling, go home, go home, go home, and stop with the nonsense. I am not forgiving you. Go home. You're so anxious. Go on. Good night. Rest early. Rest.
you know why I've asked to come here today? Director, I really didn't receive any such documents. Don't listen to their one-sided statements that Ding Xiaodai and Wen Wan are allies. It has come to this and you're still trying to argue about it. This time, if it hadn't been for Wen Wan discovering your negligence in time, you would have already been fired from the company. You heard what CEO Zhang said that day. He said that this matter had to be investigated thoroughly so that an innocent person isn't accused wrongly or a person that needs to be punished isn't cut off. Based on your abilities, you wouldn't usually make such a little since the mistake was made, you should admit to it. Don't add on another mistake. Director, how will the company settle this? This matter has already been investigated. The company will follow its standard policy for such things. I've worked in Qianyu for so many years, even with no merits, I should be given credit for my hard work. Director, you must help me. Without this job, I have nothing. I can understand how you feel. Before the company takes any action, you should take this chance to think on your act, do some self-reflection. Maybe CEO Zhang will act after a full consideration of the actual situation. Implement the plan soon. I'll get going. CEO Zhang. May I speak with you? By the way, I've heard about the matter relating to Du Xintong. It seems like the company has already investigated The company is waiting to deal with her. I heard about it today too, but I'm not sure how she'll be dealt with. Why are you worrying about her? Did you forget? Last time when CEO Lang nearly ate the peanut butter, you were almost framed for it by her. That's in the past now. Besides, CEO Lang is fine and has returned home. Sis Wen Wan is indeed very gracious. I like it a lot. Come, let me give you a hug of admiration. Ding Xiaodai, stop it. Hey, I won't put in any good words for you when I meet with Mr. Guan. Why are you not letting me hug you? I don't want to. Hey! Stop it. I'm sorry. What did you call me just now? You're at work, not on a playground. I am sorry, CEO I was the one who pushed Sis Wen Wan, then she bumped into you. It's okay. Didn't you have something to say to me? Come to my office. Yes. Sis, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Let's go back to work. CEO Zhang, Director Qi has spoken to me. I made a lowly mistake during the reception for CEO Lang. I admit, I panicked. That's why I tried to push the blame onto assistant one. I will apologize to her. I really know that I was in the wrong. Are you sure? I have been with the company for over four years. I started off as an entry-level employee and worked my way up to where I've really I am worked today. Hard. I hope that you can give me another chance. A chance to rectify what I've done wrong. Actually, in Qianyu, we consider you a senior employee. You should know that I'm a person who's fair in administering rewards and punishments. CEO Zhang. The blunder that you've made indicates that the training our company gives to its managers is lacking. 
How about this? Put aside all the work you have on hand. Go through retraining alongside the new employees for three months. After the training, I'll arrange a new job for you. Pass this on to Chibichia. Just say that I personally arranged it. Work hard. I believe that with your spirit. Given time, you can definitely help Qian Yu generate more profits, CEO Zhan. You may leave now. Oh, right. Help me by calling one one in, please. I'll leave first then, CEO Zhang. CEO Zhang is asking for you. Look at how shallow you behaved just now. Is that how you should behave when you're on the 66th floor? I really dislike young girls like you. You act silly and cute just because you're young. If you have so much time, you should try and increase your sales. Manage your due. Yes, what is it? This is the 66th floor. If Xiao Dai has made any mistakes, you shouldn't be the one lecturing her. Please apologize to her. Older sis Wen Wan. I knew that you were not a simple person when we were competing for the what? assistance. You think you are so high and mighty now that you're in that seat? Not at all. You're welcome to take that seat. Are you okay? I'm to blame. If it weren't for me messing around, you wouldn't have been embarrassed, older sis Wen Nuan. She's just jealous because you're young. Older sis Wen Nuan, that was a really cool move. Carry on with your work. I'm going up. Come in. CEO Zhang, come over here. You can tolerate things quite well. I'm not that spoiled. Du Xintong was being unreasonable. She bruised your arm. Yet you've tolerated her time after time. But when it comes to standing up for Ding Xiaodai, you are quite daring. Ding Xiaodai always looks happy and naive. But she's very kind and innocent and has no bad intentions. If I don't speak up for her, she won't say a word. Don't you think that Ding Xiaodai resembles your younger self? I was not that easily bullied. Why did you ask for me?
Right. You have to attend a dinner party with me. Dinner party? I thought that vice CEO gal was the one who always goes with you. He went to Nanjing for work so he can't go. You don't want to go? No. You have to go, even if you don't want to. You are currently my assistant. This is your job. Also, you can use this opportunity to get to know the rest of the bosses. To make contacting them more convenient. Understood. Xintong, where have you been? I've been assigned to training with the newbies. What? Training with the newbies? What happened? Don't panic. I'll come and figure out the situation. I am about to get off work. Let's talk after that. Don't panic. Don't panic. Training? Miss Eason? <laughs> Director Pan, it's really you. I just sent off a client. I turned back and saw a pretty, yet familiar silhouette. I was just guessing. May I sit here? Please, thank you. Where's CEO Zhang? I don't see him with you. He's been quite busy lately. Qian Yu's work has always been complicated and busy. But I feel that it's wrong not to accompany his girlfriend just because of work. You must be going to the charity dinner with CEO Jean tonight, right? Of course. Are you Miss One? Yes, I am. This is a gown sent by Mr. John. For me? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Please close the gate after you. Thank you. Okay, good. Delivery invoice. Sent by Qian Yu. Sent from Qian Yu? Sis, what do you think of this one? This one? I think that the red one is better. I think the red one is better, too.
Thank you.